The Ultimate Comeback. The life of the great Victorian actor William Terrace was an odd one. He worked as a sheep farmer in the Falklands, a horse breeder in Kentucky, a gold miner in the Wild West, and a seaman in the Royal Navy before he finally took to the stage. All the same, he proved to have an exceptional talent. He was a great success in many Shakespearean dramas, as well as some of the more popular plays of the day. And by the time he reached his 40s, he had a huge following. He was like a film star of today. The newspapers praised him, women adored him, men admired him. At least, most men admired him. Not unfortunately a certain Richard Prince, who was an extra at the same theater company. Prince believed himself to be a better actor than Terrace. He came to believe that Terrace was deliberately holding him back, even sabotaging his chance for fame. Prince said as much to anyone who would listen, and human nature being what it is, there were quite a few who thought it was a great joke to encourage him. No one noticed the growing light of insanity in his eye. On the night of December 16th, 1898, William Terrace dined with a friend in a restaurant on the Strand then walked across the road to the theatre where his play was due to open later that evening. He strolled into an alleyway called Maiden Lane, where there was a private back door to the theatre. London was lit by gas at this time, but narrow streets like Maiden Lane had few lamps. Besides, it was a stormy December night, which caused the lamps to flicker. Maiden Lane was full of deep, dark shadows. But Terrace was so familiar with the area that he never gave the darkness a second thought. Perhaps he should have. For as he slid his key into the lock, a cloaked figure rose up from the shadows and plunged a knife twice into his back. With blood pouring from the wounds, Terrace whirled around and grappled his attacker. It was the insanely jealous Richard Prince. Prince stabbed him again, this time in the heart. Terrace sank to the pavement, dying but not yet dead. The friend who had accompanied him to the restaurant panicked when he saw the attack and fled. A theatre crowd, attracted by the noise, poured into the lane and grabbed Prince. As they gathered around the bleeding Terrace, they heard the actor murmur, I will be back. Moments later, he was dead. Strange circumstances surrounded that murder. For miles away in the Terrace home, his two sons were playing at chess, and at the exact moment Terrace died, his little dog began to bark furiously and run round and around the room, snapping at invisible enemies. The dog wouldn't stop until a family friend appeared at the front door with news of the murder. If the terrier somehow or other sent the actor's death at the time it happened, Terrace's understudy, Charles Lane, seems to have sensed it a full day before. He arrived at the Adelphi Theatre in a state of deep depression caused by a dream. In it, he'd seen Terrace stabbed to death and lying in a pool of blood. And it was a sad ending for more than the unfortunate actor. For the friend who had abandoned Terrace in his time of need grew so guilty about his cowardice that he hanged himself in shame. The murderer, Richard Prince, was tried, convicted, and spent the remainder of his days in the Broadmoor Asylum for the criminally insane. But the weird incidents at the time of the murder were nothing compared to what happened nearly 60 years later. In 1957, Night shift workers in the Covent Garden underground station saw a tall, handsome figure dressed in late Victorian clothing stroll along the platform around midnight. A train pulled up, he climbed on, and vanished. The 
haunting recurred again and again. Sometimes the figure was seen on the platform, sometimes climbing a staircase, sometimes boarding a train. Although the living passengers on the train never seemed to notice a thing. Eventually, a group of workers decided to hold a seance to try and raise the ghost. They set it up in the station waiting room. As the lights dimmed, one of those present suddenly saw a phantom figure move towards a colleague. He shouted an urgent warning. As he did so, the colleague heard a hollow voice announce, Terrace. It seems the actor had made the ultimate comeback.